Damn, your typing is loud. Oh, sorry. It's too loud, man. It's too loud. Okay. But no, I, I've been muting myself the whole it's time. It's too loud, but, man. Uh, the champion select has started. I'm going to bring it over to Michael as well as Joseph Legaya back again. And I'll be back when the game actually does start. So yeah, so we can see that it's going to be Stingy on the blue side this time. And J plays 6 is going to be on the purple slash red side. Uh, Bands is going to be Oriana again. Another ban onto Flurpin. And we're going to be seeing that Jinx ban to get it away from Fixation. Because Fixation is such a really good, it's such a good Jinx player. And we might be, we might be seeing the same bans again as last time for Stingy because they didn't uh they probably still would like to oh they actually banned the Vi now so they know that Gochi Boy is really good so they didn't want him to touch that and unfortunately Name will not be able to play that Vi and yeah and that's good but that's gonna be one ban less for the mid lane uh but JP, uh, Jasmine plus six still go for that Zed. They don't want uh, J, New Era, or Fixation to go with that Zed in the mid lane. Um. Oh man, but it's kind of questionable that they ban Vi because J uh, ST and JJY can just first pick Vi away, especially because that is Name's priority pick. But this also shows that. ST and JJY might have uh, like other priority picks that they want to get besides Vi, so Vi is not like the utmost important. Because through the first game that we saw, J New Era was basically doing the was the only one that was actually doing well in the early game. Besides bot lane, bot lane went even, but every lane, including jungle, they just got outplayed. Like Gochu Boy completely outplayed Na Name in the jungle. And seeing the Ari ban, I don't think, this is my opinion, but I don't think the Ari was that, like, a, Dominant, much of a no. problem yeah. for Jay. But then, I guess they want to just ban it away. And they, um, and Jasmine plus six does ban Twitch again. And it seems like Jay New Era gets the LeBlanc. The scary thing about his LeBlanc is he actually grinded with just LeBlanc. The two champions he grinded were Syndra and LeBlanc. And LeBlanc was one of his most played champions from what I know. And he grinded LeBlanc from bronze or somewhere there all the way to diamond with just LeBlanc. So his LeBlanc is extremely scary and I've played up against a couple times and I and I went like 0-9 in lane. I completely got demolished. So the LeBlanc pick for Januara is really good. And it seems that Jasmine plus six is going Sivra again. The Sivir was actually a really good pick for Jasmine plus six because basically the way Jasmine plus six beat um, ST and GGY was because their shot calling is instant. Like they don't hesitate. Like ex for example, that last team fight where they fought um, ST and GGY in the river and then just got an inhib from that. It wasn't like, oh, let's go or oh let's don't go it's just Renekton just went in everyone Sivir just popped all and everyone just went in completely demolishing um ST and JJY and then the same happened at Dragon most teams if they see them being collapsed they would just walk away and not do drag anymore but if you saw that drag fight they knew Braum just blocked the Ezreal because he knew Ezreal was gonna ult steal um Jarvan was nowhere to be seen, so it was a 3v3, and they played it perfectly. So, Jasmine plus 6 has, like, a really, like, they don't hesitate to just go in. Yeah. And we could see that Gochu Boy is going to be going for a different jungler because of that Vi ban, and he's going to be going for that Elise. Uh, not much has been seen on Elise. I think she's been on the lower tier than most in the competitive scene, but we'll be able what. But with his Vaya showing, I'm sure he's been seen as a good jungler, so he'll probably be pretty proficient at that. And we saw, we already saw Flurpin's uh, Sivir already, so that's gonna be a really that's already another good pick for him. And uh, Mod Lover is gonna stay on that Renekton. He's he wasn't uh, he played very well against the real Mars, 
with the help of Gochi Boy, so he's just gonna stay that because uh, Renekton was buffed. He's re he's really good champion, I think, in right now, and maybe Slight Two is gonna be going for that Lux. I don't know fully about that because I don't really know uh, Slight Two's champion pull, but we can go to the STNJ. Uh, STN JJY's side and name went for Pantheon, a very good early game jungler, and lovely Charon going with that Janna pick. Uh, we've seen Janna's a lot in this tournament. Uh, she's been played very well. Let's see if lovely, lovely Charon can be able to step up and either be on par with the good Janna players or maybe step up and be like one of those top, like the very top Janna player. And Fixation is still going to be going for that um, Ezreal pick. I think even even if even when Huan Punch hasn't picked the support, he could probably just go Braum again and just shut down Ezreal with the shield. But you can see Real Mars is going for that Rumble. Rumble is a good pick. Uh, he's uh, like not against Renekton, but or I think maybe against Renekton, he's a good pick. But overall, he's uh, he's been such a popular AP top laner right now and uh seeing that getting picked is uh probably gonna be more helpful for the team fight of stn jjy and hawaiian punch went for the annie now uh if you guys haven't really been watching maybe streams or anything you've seen uh, you can actually see a lot of the pro players pro support players are actually going for uh annie right now maybe Actually, like, maybe she's coming back for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, I've seen some streamers go for Annie. Uh, and they've done very, very well. And, and just because, yeah, like, I know it's solo queue, but uh, I think Annie is a pretty good pick for this, uh, for S for Jasmine plus six. Because they're so, because they're, they're really good with the team fights. So, looking at each lane... Uh, first, I'll start off with the top lane, Rumble versus Renekton. As you said, it's more of a skill matchup. Rumble is, but then Renekton has the advantage because Renekton can just easily just build MR, which will counter Rumble because early game Rumble's damage isn't really strong until he gets the uh, Zanyas and the Leandris. That's when Rumble actually like his team fighting potential is like at the top. That's when his spike comes. While in the jungle, Elise versus Pantheon, they're both not the top priority junglers right now. Elise just did get a buff from the recent patch that came out today. While Pantheon, his ult did get nerfed so he can't gank as much because the timing on it is really long. And in the mid lane, I'm kind of questioning the Lux into the LeBlanc pick because the moment Lux does get chained by... Uh, I mean, yeah, the moment Lux gets changed, chained by LeBlanc, it, she's basically dead. The only way Lux can beat LeBlanc is safely play until level 6 and basically just E and Q the minions from the back and far um, farm safely and try to survive the early game. And if Lux does land the binding on LeBlanc first, then she will have the upper hand. But LeBlanc has the huge advantage over Lux. In the bottom lane, it's Janna and Ezreal versus Sever and Annie. I don't, I'm not sure about the bottom lane that much, but I don't think that Ezreal Janna is a great bottom lane. That I might be wrong because I don't play, um, I don't play bot, bot lane that much. And Annie, as you said, she is like a not really a like a top pick anymore it's kind of like a pocket pick now at this point where she's i'm not sure if she's getting better because we did see that annie top early in the tournament so judging from the team of jasmine plus six they want to go that heavy disengage and the engage from the renekton and annie with the uh vision and the objective control with elise while STNGGY is going for that pick uh for that team fighting comp again with a little bit of pick from the leblanc yeah. So, with that, we have 40 seconds left. Um, we've already went over the skill, uh, went over the matchups. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not 
as big of a stomp as the last game. Uh, maybe we can see Jay throwing out that, um, showing his skills. Even though he already did, uh, he did uh, beat that Ari last uh, slide two on Ari last game, but sadly the rest of his team wasn't able to follow up and win their lanes. And um, all right, we'll be in the loading screen. Um, I think Andy's gonna be coming back in, and Michael is going to mute himself. So we'll be having Andy, Andy, not Annie, Andy back. Tippers. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my! I'm not Annie. <laughs> all right, I'm not Annie. I said Andy. <sighs> Whatever. So we are now in loading screen. I'm back again from that little small little break, I guess you can say, from the small little champion select. Thank you to Michael once again, as well as Joseph Lagaya for that uh, in-depth, I guess, you know, champion stuff that I'm not that good at. But in terms of the skin war, it looks like Jasmine Plus 6 have 4 skins, while ST and JJY only have 2. So, <laughs> looks like Jasmine Plus 6 do win the skin war once again. Yeah. Come on, Flurpin. Buy a game. We could buy a skin in Champs of so might as well just do it. Just make it the full skin team. Wow. But we do see that Sivir once again. Now we did see Flurpin play that very good Sivir, so. Yeah. So, that means he should get skin. Plays that very well. You know. But we do see the Mistletoe Blanc Christmas special from January, and as you, as we heard from Michael, he January is a monster with that LeBlanc. From what he's been saying, and I'm I don't doubt his skills in any way, so I'm sure that I, I'm hoping that Sly Two knows how to play Lux, so he can stay back and just try to bear through the early game. Until the mid game, mid and late game, you know. Actually, late game. Oh, I just hope he's not gonna get popped so easily. In just... other news, our League of Legends chat channel, yeah. Whoa. So if you do attend Sunny Hills High School, now I already made a small little advertisement post on our Facebook group, but let me actually count how many people are in it at the moment. <clears throat> Two, so <laughs> I did advertise it maybe two weeks, one week ago. So if you want to join the chat room, you really should join it, and you should just stay in there by pressing that little, uh, I guess, cog button on the on the top right of the channel thingy, and just press auto join on startup, and that should just that should just make you start up with the chat every time you log in. Now the game has started. Let me just put up this overlays and fix up the icons, so everything, everything, so everything. I hope everything is good right now. Yeah. Uh oh. Something wrong. Uh. All right. It looks like everything is fixed now. The icons are all fixed. On the blue side, we have Stingy, also known as STNJJY. On the red side, we have Jasmine plus six. Yeah, and some early wards are going down from Jasmine plus six, and a ward went down for uh, Stingy. And you can see Flurpin doing the wave, Gochu Boy being a little BM. Actually, yeah, he did get hit by that spider, so BM Gochu Boy. Mod lover already said it. Everyone, everyone on the stream, report report Gochu Boy every time you see him. Yeah, whenever he's in, he's in game, report him. Say oh, he that's has. A bit, that's a bit of a stretch. No, 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 no. He, he has to be. See, look, he's doing it again. It's not BM. It's just tactic. Okay. It's not a tactic. That's it is just a tactic. rude. No one's knowing anything right now. It's like, what are you talking he's just wasting, about? He's just wasting has, mana. No, the game has started. He's gonna get that blue buff anyways. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, he's getting that grunt, man. See, look, when the game starts, all 
is okay, okay? All is okay? All, All right. is okay. You can do whatever the fuck else you, you want. <laughs> I almost... I almost uh... Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Alright. I see. So and at least he's gonna get that blue buff, so he's gonna get that mana back anyways. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we see, see a lot of harass coming in from J New Era right there. Some icons, man. Ooh, some icon. Wait, what? Icons, man. Icons. Yeah, yeah, icons. What about the icons? Oh no, I was gonna change my. I was changing my icons. Ah, I see. Oh, oh looks like the pause, pause has gone off. Not exactly sure what. He the just got banned. Is. That's why. Looks like okay. Flurpin is lagging. That's a very. That's an okay reason. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll they did it. That. Did it last time. Okay. No. So let me just read the chat on the stream for now. Oh, actually, never mind. The game has unpaused. Sorry, I can't read the chat right now. But I do see God Tech calling me BM. I'm not BM, all right. <laughs> but the game has Ward. started once again. That one ward right there. He can't really clear it, so they do have vision on that little bush. Shouldn't really be much of a problem though. Mod lover hitting level two faster than the real Mars, getting that early experience because he's able to push in the wave faster than uh, Rumble, even though he uh, Rumble does have that. Ooh. Man, that skin is so cool. That's so annoying. That's so cool. It's so annoying. Like every ability he does, he has to say something like that. So cool. Uh oh. So it does look like it is a bit of a. Oh, it does look like too. Actually, does use this flash January, just landing a little bit more auto attacks in. But he actually does take the same amount of damage back just because of Lux's, I guess, ranged abilities. Yeah, that E did a lot of damage, and also some minion, uh, minion damage came in as well. And mod lover trying to come in for some rest, but the real mods is actually still full health. And this is the strength that uh, Rumble can have on Renekton. He can just keep that uh, flame spitter going on, and just damage from a little distance where Renekton can't really reach, unless he gets in really close with his oh. E and Q. Back at the river area, looks like Janiera is gonna catch uh -oh, out Sly2 uh -oh, right now. Uh -oh. Now Sly2 does not have his flash. Nate is coming in for the fight. He does flash. He does land that stun. Looks like Sly2 is gonna go down. First blood does go off to name. Goji Boy is gonna get caught right here, but Mod Lover is right there to counter attack. Janiera is coming in, but looks like Name is gonna get caught from that stun. Looks like Janiera does land that stun. Mod Lover is gonna get caught, but Goji Boy is coming in. The real Mars also coming in. Looks like Name is still gonna survive. Oh. Looks like Goji Boy does go down from Janiera. He does have a double kill. Mod Lover. He's actually all alone at the moment. He does have the double buff. He actually did get the kill on name, but he is gonna go down in the end from the real Mars. Some very good mechanical play from both t sides of them, uh, both teams. Uh, you can see January just taking out Slide 2 and Gochi Boy while um, Mod Lover. Oh, no, no, never mind. Name took out Mod, uh, Slide 2. But then, since uh, Name got killed by Gochu Boy, uh, Jay Nura takes the red buff from Gochu Boy, and the real Mars gets a double buff. Sadly, red buff isn't as Bob useful Bob. on LeBlanc as a blue buff would be. You know, but it's still it's still good. You you get those true damage auto attacks off, and you know it can. Do stuff over time, but looks like the name is ganking the bot lane at the moment. Flippin does get stunned. He does have the spell shield blocking that stun. Looks like name might actually get the kill. The heal actually does go off, and looks like fixation does get the kill in the end. Name blocking that tower shot right there, and it's a kill for fixation. Flippin does go down in that fight. Some good, uh, good timing for Flippin. He waited for the stun from Pantheon rather than just anyone, rather than the knock up from Janna. So. He knew when to use it, but sadly he was a l he was just too low, and Fixation was able to get the last auto to secure that kill. But uh oh, this ain't good. It looks like Neymar actually got caught right. He actually does get stunned from both Gochi Boy as well as Slide too, but he does go down in the end. Looks like Gochi Boy does get the kill. A little greedy for that pink ward. He didn't even try to auto or run away on on the Elise, but 
He just went for the ward and he still even didn't get it. It's just one auto away. And Gochibu trying to get... Oh, well, he was going to go for Stingy's bot lane, but decides against it. And he might be going for that mid lane. Yeah, there's a ping for it. And you can see Hawaiian Punch is probably going to be following up to secure the kill on January, but he does have his... He does Ooh. hit level 6. Does it look like Sly2 might get caught in the middle of this, but Jnuera is going to get caught in a 3-man gank. It looks like Sly2 oh. does get the kill in the end, as well as the 2 assists going to the Elise and the Annie. Name is coming in at the mid lane. He's not going to be able to do much except just tax the lane. He's not going to be able to fight Sly2 at the moment. So, very good kill coming in from the mid lane. Yeah, I don't think Jnuera expected to get hit up by three or by a two-man gank so he was going in all he was going all in just to try to get a kill but sadly and he flashed and uh w'd and just secured that kill or and then slide two was able to secure the kill with the ultimate and oof i've been using the spell shield thinking that uh fixation was going to use a mystic shot and that's a lot uh spell shield is a long cooldown and if you're not able to get uh, the, the spell shields Ooh, proc and off. And Aim is coming at the bot lane as well. He doesn't have the spell shield up at the moment. So it but could they be do trouble see brewing him. Yeah, it, he, they, you can't see him though. So they're going to be really cautious, uh, cautious about this right now. In the top lane, it looks like JNU Airs just keep going. Keep going to go aggressive against Sly 2 at the moment. Now Sly 2 <laughs> does have that shield. So he can negate a lot of damage. But burst... Damage from LeBlanc is pretty much unstoppable no matter how much um, shield you have. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and he might even be coming at the bot lane as well. The stun does go off on fixation, but Hawaiian Punch does get knocked up. It looks like he is going to be in trouble. Name does land the stun, and he does get the kill. Hawaiian Punch does go down in the end. Flippin is all alone on a 1v4 lane at the moment. It looks like it might be some trouble. The Lux is possibly going to come in. Flippin is in some trouble. He does flash away, but he is possibly going to die right here. The Ignite does go off. Name does get the kill. He is going to die from that tower. Slide 2 does get the kill in the end. Goji Boy might actually get caught right here, but it looks like Sl Slide 2 is coming for the retaliation. They're not going to be able to follow up much after that. It's still a 2v3 at the bot lane. So, right now, Jasmine plus 6 do have to be a bit careful. Yeah, Name was a little aggressive trying to go for. The kill. It wasn't really. I don't really think he should be getting those kinds of kills. It should have just been left to Jnu era, because he has only ha uh, Jnu era only has one kill right now. Ooh. At the top lane is very aggressive from both Mod Lover as real as well as the real Mars. The real Mars does negate a lot of damage with that shield, but he's trying to run away. The heal. I'm not the heal. The slow actually does go off for both times, and looks like he can't really catch him out. At the top lane, it looks like Jnu is actually taking a lot more damage than Sly 2's, um, than he's actually dealing, I mean. And it's a bit risky from Jnu era at the moment. Yeah, because Gochu Boy is standing in the wings. Uh, I don't even think he's, uh, he saw that ward being placed, so he has no knowledge of what's going on. Pink ward in the tri bush, lovely Chorong, is going to be taking that out, but Flurpin throwing in the trinket. And oh, it does look like both of them do get caught out right here. Name is coming in for the possible five fixation, is following up. He's gonna keep landing those mystic shots, but Flurpin does get that mana from that spell shield, so it looks like he's gonna get away. No, actually, it's gonna be a very good fight. It looks like Flurpin actually sidesteps the true shot barrage. Yeah, it's very could've last second, life. too. Yeah, could have been his life right there. Very good sidestepping coming in from Flurpin. Yeah. Hey, name finally gets that pink ward. Good job, man. Hawaiian Punch is trying to look for something. I don't know if he's gonna be able to find what he's looking for, but Mod Lover. Ooh, mo oh, that's Mod Lover not might be in some trouble right here. The real Mars is at full HP at the moment, while Mod Lover is around less than a little bit less than half his HP. So he's gonna have to keep. He's just gonna have to farm under tower for for now. At the mid lane, Jnuera again going fairly aggressive against Sly2, but that shield is negating a lot of damage coming in from the LeBlanc. Yeah, I like, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not expecting this little damage that's coming out from Jnuera. Because I'm usually, I'm used to seeing so much LeBlanc just 
burst people just immediately, even when this is such a low game, uh, low level right now. So I'm a, I'm a little surprised to see not much damage is going out from Janeiro. Oh, does it look like Goji Boy might get caught, out, get caught out right here, but Name is going to die. Hawaiian Punch doesn't get the kill in the end. Goji Boy is going to be safe. At the top lane, it's going to be Mod Lover versus the real Mars. Mod Lover is going to go away. Looks like uh, who actually died. The Name actually did die in the end right there. Fixation does miss his ultimate. Looks like they're going to possibly just get this Scuttle Crab and just ward up that dragon just in case if they do need, need to get it soon. Oh, at the top oh. lane, Mod Lover actually does use his ultimate. The real Doesn't Mars. Have his he silenced. Uh, the real Mars still has his ultimate. He can possibly catch out Mod Lover right here. Yeah, he can stop lane. it. Yeah. At the mid lane, JNUR is actually taking a lot of damage. Not very not a very good trade coming in right from that. So the real Mars did use his ultimate, but I think it was a little too late because uh, the mod lover was able to go back. So I don't know what really happened there. Um, but you can see Gochi Boy is just gonna be coming in right now. Well, it looks like Gochi Boy is going in on the real Mars. The real Mars does not know of Gochi Boy's damage. Does look like he is going to get away though. Jane does get that blue buff. Looks like he's just going to walk away. Go back to the lane and just farm up so he can just be that power burst champion that LeBlanc is supposed to be. Yeah. Sadly, uh, Gochi Boy wasn't able to land the stun to secure that kill at the very start. So, and he could have, uh, I don't think he was able to repair, repel in range. And ooh, na oh, the name is going the for name it. Name might actually get, or name might actually get this kill right here. No, it does look like he's gonna get away. Janie Era, he didn't really follow up on that because of that tower at the mid lane. They still haven't gotten that, and it could have been Gochi Boy's death if they had gotten that tower earlier. But you know, it's still there. The mod you can lover, see mod might lover. Be, yeah, he might be in some trouble right here. It's going to be a two-man gank. It's going Name to be a 1 lane, and Mod Lover might be in some trouble right here. Name is only level six, like you said. But Janiora does land that stun in the end. A double stun, the two chains. It looks like he is going to survive under that tower. Uh, so not a lot, not enough damage coming out from Janiora right now. Um, and with the even with uh, Rumble coming in, he wasn't able to get because uh, Renekton is building. A lot of MR, as you said, you can see the ban Banshee's real. Uh, that's a that's a Spectre's cow, never mind. And a Merc tre and the Merc treads. Uh, he might be going for a Banshee's real, but he might be going for a Spirit Visage. Who knows? We'll find out very soon. I think he's going for the Banshees, especially for LeBlanc. I think Banshees yeah. would look work best against him. But Mod Lover might be in some trouble right here. Now the real Mars still has not used his ultimate yet. He keeps getting. Uh, yeah. No, he keeps getting silenced. Ah, oh, yeah. Every time he's like really close to killing him, so like I'm sure he's like on the edge of his seat, getting really <laughs> angry at himself uh, from, the over, from overheating. Overheating is, is just way too annoying. But it looks oh. like it looks like Name is going to ultimate on the bot lane now. Flipping might get caught right here. The spell shield does go off. It looks like the heal actually does go off as well. Fixation as well as everyone else is coming in. But the teleport is also coming in. It looks like Mod Lover is coming in for the fight. Janeiro actually does Jane get the kill yeah. on Flipping. It looks like Janeiro might get caught right here from Gochi Boy at the moment. It looks like Hawaiian Punch actually does go down from Fixation. That Monsoon does go off. It looks like as well as the two man knockup. Looks like Slight D does get the kill on Fixation. The real Mars might be in some trouble right here. Name does not have any mana. You can't really. Anything lovely Choring does get caught from that stun. Looks like the real Mars is gonna go down. Lovely Choring does survive in the end. Looks like a very good fight coming in from Jasmine plus six. They did get three people while STNJJY only got two people. They are gonna get this dragon right here. And I'm surprised they didn't actually go for the tower either. Yeah, I think they'll be going for the tower later on. Um, just letting it push out. They wanted to get the dragon first to get some damage. First, they're guaranteed damage. Oh, oh, they do get the tower. I mean, Very not the tower. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> that was a pretty close uh, ulti for from Vixation, but sadly, uh, Gochu Boy actually didn't have stun. Didn't have smite. Oh no! This looks like some trouble coming in from Mod Lover at the moment. Janeiro is trying to catch him out at the moment, but he is going to get stunned. It's going to be a possible fight right here, but Gochu Boy is coming in for the possible fight at the moment. The flash actually does go out. Oh. Janeiro does not have the vision on Gochu Boy with fixation. Is coming back in for the fight, but everyone else is coming in at the moment. Looks like Slide 2 does get the kill on. G 
Jay New Era fixation is gonna get caught in the middle of three people. It looks like he's uh, actually gonna die from that ignite. Looks like it's a double kill for Sly too. Name is still gonna get caught out right here. Looks like he's going to die as well from Flurp and Lovely Chorong is the only one left alive as well as the real Mars. The real Mars is not in the fight currently though. It does look like does look like Lovely Chorong is possibly gonna get away. Nope, it looks like he does get stunned. The real Mars is coming in for the fight though. He is gonna run away. Hawaiian Punch is possibly going to retaliate on this right here. Sly2 does use that flash to just get away from that knockup. Looks like the ultimate from the real Mars does go off as well as that Annie ultimate. It looks like Sly2 uses that all and the real Mars is in trouble at the moment. <laughs> Weapon does come in from behind to just cut him off. The lovely Chorong is still right there. JNU Era is coming in for the possible fight at the same time. Double kill for Sly2. JNU Era missing that chain. And Sly2 is just kind of try kiting away from this. He does go down in the end. Looks like Fixation using the ultimate doesn't really do much with it. But a very good fight from Jasmine plus six. Yeah. Uh, like that extended fight basically was an ace for JP6 and they only lost slide 2 and ooh, section January is actually coming in for another gank but Gochi Boy is right behind ooh. him might be in so much trouble right here the ward is there so January does have vision of him he actually does get caught out from that stun but looks like the two chains do come in right there it looks like Gochi Boy might get caught out here but Hawaiian punches right there he actually misses his stun on January January actually does get exhausted on at the same time flipping in is coming in for the gank flipping does get the kill on name it looks like January actually does land that chain and Flurpin is in trouble. He is going to go down from fixation. And Hawaiian Punch as well as Sly2 are the only ones at the mid lane right now. It's going to be a 2v3 at the mid lane. Mod Lover might be coming there though. No, he's, be going for, he's going to be going for that blue buff. Even though Renekton doesn't really need it because he has no mana regeneration, he is going to be taking that from the mid laner. And the Blunk is certainly the person who does need that blue buff. Oh. Actually, the real Mars is going to be in interfering right now, and they're, uh, Stingy is actually calling for help for, for this one right now. And Maldor has been stalling this, and uh, Blue Buff has returned back to full health, and the real Mars is going to be going back to the lane, while Maldor is going to be probably backing. Or no, he's going to be staying when he's going to be going with the lane. What an exciting game. Yeah, dude. It's like, <clears throat> actually, uh, finally, January gets the blue buff. The one that's second blue buff, I believe. Yeah. Let's get that another blue buff. It is gonna help him during his lane. Now, January has to know that he can't really go too aggressive. And they might actually get caught right here. It's the real Mars as well as Gochi Boy on the top lane as well as name and mod lover name is gonna go down in the end Ooh. oh it does look like gochi boy actually does die right there the flash does go off and mod lover is possibly gonna go down here as well looks like he is that q is still off Janier is right there as well the real mars doesn't get the kill on mod lover it was a two for one and it looks like st and jjy does get the advantage at that top lane fight yeah um, I think they underestimated the Flame Spitter damage and Pantheon's damage as well when Gochu Boy decided to go in. I think he's he's not really, he's pretty tanky considering he has a Sight Stone, Ruby Crystal, and, so, and a Spectre's Cloak. So I think he was oh a little too gosh. confident on how on that damage. Oh, Jay oh, his... era possibly coming in for oh. fight. Slide too did not expect that amount of damage. The heal does go off as well as the shield. Looks like he's actually going to survive from this. But very unexpected coming in from um Jay era because Slide two was not expecting that. Yeah. They didn't have vision on that as well. So uh, sadly, Fixation has his ultimate like now. So I don't know if he's going to be using that because he. I don't think he's. Yeah. The, the people that were low already have backed, and I think he would have wouldn't have used it anyways, thinking that they already backed. So in the mid, uh, that's the <laughs> second tower for uh, Stingy. Wow, Ooh. very good timing from January. Gochi Boy is gonna get caught out right here. January does get the kill. The teleport does come in. Looks like Hawaiian Punch does get the stun off on name, and looks like Ultimate does go off. Sly Two does get the kill in the end. So a little over aggression did get 
uh, Retribution. And they're going to be going for the Dragon that's going to be coming up in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Uh, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes! <laughs> Oh no, Fixation might be caught out right here, but the real Mars as well as, as well as well as the lovely Shorn are right there. Flippin' is possibly gonna come in as well, as well as Hawaiian Punch. It's gonna be a five man mid at the moment, oh. except for Gochu Boy. Flippin' just uses ultimate. Mm. Yeah, I probably out of fear. Oh, oh. Uh. so Junior uh, juking slide two from the skills. The only thing that really hit him was the ricochet from Flurpin. Oh, Ooh, it did get oh. caught. Oh my goodness, that is Very, a lot of That's damage. gonna shut down their dragon potential, I believe. Yep. Uh, now Zazzle be... plus six are gonna go for this possible dragon right here. The amount of shields coming in for the real Mars is incredible. It does look like there are possibly Rumble, to get this yes, dragon right here, his ultimate. That rumble ultimate it. does go in, but they, they ha they're not going in in the time. Oh. Flippin' does get the dragon. Jasmine plus six have their... Second dragon, I believe, or first yeah, dragon. That's the oh, second God. dragon. Oh, yep. It's the second dragon. I'm not sure what SC and JJY were doing right there. They they were just standing behind that dragon pit wall. They weren't really doing much. Yeah, they were a little. Uh, Rumble threw out his ultimate a little too early oh, for the team to really wow, realize what to close. do. Yeah. And that's just the that's just the scares of what. Can happen when you have an Ezreal on the other team. If you're just swoop swept the board, and you back there, that's not that's like a very bad decision. That that's just asking for you to get ulted by Ezreal, and especially since how low slide two was. If uh, if fixation was any it was any sort was in any more form stronger, probably would have been a kill. This ain't good. Oh, it looks like Real Mars might actually get caught out right here. Gochi Boy as well as Mod Lover are coming in for the gank. But it looks like he might actually go down right here. The slice and dice possibly might not be over for. Oh well, no, it looks like it is. The stun actually does go off. Janior is coming in for the gank. Looks like Gochi Boy might actually get caught right here. But Gochi Boy does get the kill. Janior is alone at the moment. Gochi Boy is going to go down from Janior. The Jukes are coming in. Mod Lover it has to run away because it is a 2v1. Looks like he does use that slice and dice over the wall. And he is going to go away. Yeah, so a very good solo kill from uh, January. Unfortunately, that I think that was the real Mars died. Yeah, he, uh, the real Mars did die to Gochu Boy and Mod Lover. Uh, but a good save, for, uh, a good reply kill from January, and being able to get away from Go uh, Mod Lover. I think Mod yeah, Mod Lover did ulti for that in that fight. So. It was good to get away from it. Hawaiian Punch finding that pink ward, taking it down. Some good ward control coming from from JP, JP6 as expected. And uh, January getting that uh, blue buff. Having to use his oh, mimic. No, uh oh no, lovely Troy might get caught out right here. The double knockup does go off. Fixation is alone. The flash does go off. A lovely Troy not Fixation is alone at the moment. He does take a little bit of damage. The, he the shield does go off. Looks like they're just going to back away for now. Uh, they did pop the flash from the Janna. So it was a win situation for Jasmine plus six right there. Yeah, but if you see that, if you saw that, you could see Hawaiian Punch uh, canceling, I think, either skills or anything. Because he was like stuttering and uh, stuttering in his movement. So I think he was either trying to go for a, a Q stun. Because if it was a W, he would have thrown it out immediately. But then he just stopped. Uh, he just kept stuttering over and over. So. Oh, it looks uh -oh. like. He might be in some trouble. Lovely Torin does get stunned on. He does not have that flash anymore. He is going to go down from Flurpin. Some very good chain CC. Oh, it does look like Jane Uera does steal that blue buff in the end. Yeah, he does. Oh, no, actually, he did not. Oh, he did it? No. I didn't see the camera. I think. Uh, no, Slide 2 was able to get it in the. Mm last second oh at the uh, top lane this is going to be an even fight right here the real mars is actually going to start running away but at back at the mid lane gochi boy is going to get caught right here he is going to go away it looks like january might be in some trouble at the moment he does use those distortions to just walk away at the moment but 
Flippin is gonna come in and he does not get the kill from that Q. He's actually gonna survive, but he is gonna get turned around around the corner. He is gonna oh. die from slide two fixation as well as lovely Chong are gonna come in for the fight. But slide two as well as everyone else on the team is gonna come in. Lovely Chong is gonna get caught out from the anti ultimate. Looks like Name is gonna get exhausted on fixation. Actually does get the kill on wine punch and that real Marge using that ultimate. It looks like fixation is doing a lot of damage on the back line, but Name actually does get caught out slide two also dying at the same time. Flurpin as well as Mod Lover are the only one left alive. It does look like they're just gonna back off for now. A yeah, four? I don't think. I think it was a four to four. Uh, it was a three for three, actually. I think three for three. three for oh yeah, two? three for three, three for three. Oh, okay. But it does look like the real oh, Mars Mike no. caught out right here is Fixation versus Flurpin at the moment, and it does look like Fixation is going to die. Oh. Shutdown gold going to Flurpin. The real Mars does survive in the end. That spell shield just completely saved his life. Very good. Not on only him. the spell shield, it was the crit that was able to come in mm. from the, in the last second. Uh -oh, oh, but looks like he might be in some trouble right here. Go to boy does use that stun, but Jinior does get the kill. Does get that blue buff as well. Lovely Shoring does using that monsoon to just cut or to just disengage everyone else. Looks like Jinior might actually get caught right here. The chain does go off on one of his spiders. Doesn't really matter, but looks uh -oh. like Nate is gonna go in on that ultimate, and looks like Mod Lover is gonna go down right here. Name does get the kill. Goji Boy is all alone at the moment. Looks like he's gonna go down from Jinu era. Looks like the dragon is actually up in 40 seconds. They don't have their jungler for Jasmine plus six right here, so it can be some trouble at the dragon pit for them. So this is gonna be. So this is a big spike. If you guys saw that, Florpin just bought a static ship and the last whisper. So he's gonna be doing a lot of damage, especially towards the people who are building a little bit tanky right now. Even though. The only people who are building armor right now is uh, Name and uh, who is it again? The 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 real Mars with that Zonias, but it's not really much. So he's just going to be penetrating through basically armor that's not there on everyone else. So he's just gonna, he's still going to be doing a lot of damage, and he just needs to get that life steal item next. But he is going for a null magic mantle. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. And ooh, I wanna actually talk about Renekton getting Spirit Passage instead of the Banshee's Rail. Apparently we were wrong. Oh, it does look like oh. Wine Punch actually does get caught as well as Janeiro. Janeiro actually does go down on Slight. My game is completely lagging right now. Not exactly <laughs> sure why, but the real Mars does actually does go down. It looks like Gochi Boy is gonna go keep on the chase. It looks like Lux does use the ultimate lovely touring as well as the name are both low, but that Tornado just completely knocks them up, but it looks like they're gonna get caught out from Mod Lover at the moment. My game is just still lagging. Mod Lover does get the kill on Lovely Trong right there. My game, I don't know why it was lagging so much, but hopefully it doesn't happen again. Because that was an important fight, but I don't know, my game just decided to go retarded on me or something, <laughs> but uh, oh well. Uh, ooh, some oh. Mod Lovers getting tried to get some harass onto Fixation. I don't think it, it's not, he wasn't able to do much. He didn't have his stun up, he wasn't in close range, but some very good plays from Jasmine plus six right there. Uh, they were able to run down the rest of the team. They were getting ooh, a pause coming in. Ooh, a pause has come in on Jazz. Oh no, SC and JGY. The pause is now unpaused. Looks like name skills aren't working at the moment. Not exactly sure what the problem is. I guess that is some keyboard issues. He is playing at DGPC, so. Oh really? Yeah. Uh kind of explains it. Uh, I guess. Oh. Uh. So I don't know what's well, going. They, I don't they really have know what's continued going on. the game, so it must not be too much of a problem. Yeah. If it is, then the pause it would keep going on. I think everything is okay for now. Yeah. And if this game is going on rather slowly, so I'm gonna be in. Be right back. Sorry. Okay. So does it look like everything is happening at the mid lane right now? Flurpin is 5-5-9, five, five, and nine. he used to be around 2-4 and something I believe, so he has cut up, caught up in, in his kill and death situation. 
And right now, Lux is completely fed. A lot more fed than you know, JNU Air is at the moment. But Flippin is gonna get caught right here. But Slightly does get the kill on Lovely Touring right here, as well as that Annie all completely shutting down the rest of the team. JNU Air does get the kill on Flippin. It does look like the real Mars has killed Kawhi and Punch. And Slightly might be in some trouble right here. They are chasing. Mod Lover is still full HP. Looks like Fixation is still alive, but he's gonna go down possibly right here. He is gonna get caught out right here. Goji Boy is gonna use that raffle and he's gonna catch out fixation right here. But it looks like Janior Air is gonna come in. He's gonna ignite Goji Boy. He is gonna go down in the end. Janior is alone at the moment. It looks like he's gonna die from that red buff. The real Mars is still alive as well as Sly too. So I think Mod Lovers is possibly just gonna let that wave just push out and he's gonna just farm up some more until his team Sly responds. Slide to opening the gates. So okay. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You should just say that. It's like opening the gates when they go through it. Why? Oh, bot lover. Oh, oh because like the open the gates. Mars bro. might be in some trouble right here. The red buff doing a lot of damage. The flash going off for both of them at the same time. Name is coming in for the retaliation, but it looks like Mod Lover, he's fairly aggressive right now. He actually dives under both towers. Fixation does get that shutdown goal. Not very worth for Mod Lover. He really shouldn't have Opening done that. the gates! He really shouldn't have dived that far because Fixation did get that shutdown gates. goal. It's just gonna keep it's just gonna keep <laughs> it's gonna keep getting him more fed and fed and you know you don't wanna fed Ezreal, even though it is heading towards the late game. Ezreal won't be as strong as he usually is towards possibly the mid game. It can still be some trouble if he's fed. Well, how I punch missing that Frost Queen's active because Janeiro did go back to that distortion. And let's see, Gochu Boy uh, getting some vision and just clearing it out. Clearing oh, the like oh. going on a 1v3, he does actually distort back, but he's coming back in in his other form. He's actually fairly low at the moment. It looks like they're going in for the fight. Wine Punch does land a three-man stun with that Tibbers. It looks like Lovely Chorin does use that Monsoon. Mon Lover is coming in for the fight as well as Teleport coming in from the real Mars. Name is going to get caught right here as well as Sly2 getting the kill on Janeiro right there. The name actually does survive in the end. Nope, it looks like Goji Boy does get the kill. The real Mars is going to go down as well. The Zanyas actually does go off. He doesn't go down yet, but it looks like he is going to go down right now. Sly 2 does get the kill in the end. Fixation as well as the lovely Chong are the only one left alive. And they're possibly just going to keep going. Just keep pushing to get this bot lane tower. Oh, it looks like oh. Fixation actually does get caught out in the middle of this. It looks like Mod Lover is actually really low at the moment. But he actually survives. It looks like Fixation does use... That arcane shift just go away, but looks like he's gonna go. Oh, oh he actually survives. Looks like Goji Boy actually goes to go, does go down. Looks like they did get that tower though at the bot lane. Oh, oh. <laughs> it looks like Sly 2 does get the kill on Lovely Chong using that Lux Ultimate. I forget what it's called. Uh, Final Spark. Oh yeah, Final Spark. Yeah, so very good snipe from uh, slide 2 fixation being a little BM oh it does nope. look like Flippin might be in some trouble right here Janior is just gonna keep chasing but Flippin does use that flash he might actually get away right here but looks like he does survive in the end Janior does not do enough damage as well as Lux's presence is not going to convince JNU era enough to just keep chasing yeah, not only that, the turret shield was coming on to him and increasing as he was in the area of the second tier turret. Mud lover in the top lane farming. And you can see, oh, actually, uh, Stingy is actually in the position to take this dragon now. Dragon is up in around 15 seconds, so they can possibly just go this. They are warding this out at the moment. It looks like Janeiro actually does miss that chain on Gochi Boy and... They're really, it's really tense up in the dragon pit, but at the mid lane, Slide 2 is still pushing that out, and not exactly sure what can happen right here. Janeiro is actually gonna go get caught, but Mod Lover is all alone. Looks like the clone actually does die, but the real Mars is gonna use his Zhonya as he actually does survive. Fixation is at full HP as well as Gochi Boy still chasing Janeiro era. It does look like Fixation might get caught right here. Flippin does get the kill on the real Mars. Fixation is fairly low at the moment. He does die to Flippin. And it does look like Jade does get the kill on the Elise. Lovely Choring is getting chased by Mod Lover at the moment. 
It does look like he is going to go down right here. Jane Herrera is still getting chased right here. But it does look like they're just going to keep pushing the name. Oh, very, very close. Jane Herrera is just going to keep running away. He's going to be right there. Not very good, though. It might be a bit risky. Does die in the <laughs> end to Hawaiian Punch. So not a very good recall coming in from Jay. But, you know, you can't really do much if you're in that position. So yeah. might as well just die, I guess. Yeah, he was trying his best to just do the recall, but Hawaiian Punch did see him next to the gates. So and that's going to be actually JP6's strike. Nope, they're backing off. I don't think they want to do anything about that just yet. Ward does go down just for some ward coverage. And it's also at the top lane. Flirpin is hard pushing that top lane tower. No, it does look like he's just going to back off actually now that I think about it. He's just going to get that gromp. Right this now, ST and JJY are having a bit of trouble trying to come back from the game. They were ahead a few minutes ago, go, ago but they've lost consecutive fights. And if they keep continuing this, it could be really troublesome for them. Yeah. You can see the... What was it? The Razor Beak sword. Uh, Razor Beak's buff is putting some use for a Gochu boy. He was able to spot out a ward in his own jungle. And oh my goodness, you can see as you can, uh, as you can again see JP6's ward control is very strong right now. You can see about four, five, six, like seven wards out on the map, and they're pretty well spread. So, uh, Stingy is gonna have a like they're gonna have a hard time clearing out these wards. Oh, oh what, what is Jay doing? But it looks like the real Marzi is going to get caught right here. The Zanyas does go off in the end. Mod Lover does use his ultimate. Hawaiian Punch is going to go. He actually does not land his ultimate. But it looks like the real Mars is in trouble. He is actually going to go down right here. Mod Lover actually does flash away. The real Mars actually does survive in the end. But that Lux all just completely shutting down everyone else. And it looks like the name as well as Jay New Era are going to get caught out here. Goji Boy does get Jay New Era And Flippin does get kill name at the same time, they're gonna get this dragon, and they are possibly just gonna Jeez. keep pushing for this fixation, taking a lot of damage. He actually does survive in the end, using the arcane shift to just go away. They are gonna get this dragon. They are gonna get this inhibitor tower, and possibly even the inhibitor. Yeah. Oh, and that damage—that's just gonna be getting the inhib right there. Uh, no one's really buying. No one's has bought uh, home guards yet, so that's a, that's a free inhib right there, and the second. Turret. Oh, uh, that, no, that's a that's the fourth dragon of the four STN. No, no, four Jasmine plus six. And he's just put uh, Stingy in, in a very bad position. They're down 2k gold. Actually, maybe 1k gold if you consider that. Or no, 20k gold. They are very ahead at the moment. It's not even 20k, it's like 10k. What are you talking uh, about? What is that? <laughs> Just because it's a 5 and it, whoops. It's a 5 and a 7. It's a I'm 5 saying. and a 7. That doesn't mean that, you know, they're 20k apart. I can say whatever I want. It's like, well, I'm 59.9k on one side and it's 70.01k on the other team. They're 20k apart. 20k apart. 20k apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> uh, it doesn't work like that, I don't think. <laughs> As goes the double spell shield from Flurpin, making use of. He has no. He has no. Oh uh, my gosh, Jane New Era, why is he going 